Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ryan and welcome to another video about day trading, about buying stocks and selling stocks. So for those of you guys that are into that type of investing, then this video is for you. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how you guys can use the RSI study, the RSI indicator. In particular, I'm going to be talking about the Thinkorswim platform from TV Ameritrade. So if you guys are looking for tools and tricks and ways that you guys can know when to maybe buy or when you should get ready to sell, then this is the video for you. That's what my channel is about. It's about giving you guys tools and ways and methods that you guys can quickly know when's the best time coming up that's about ready to per for you to purchase a stock and when you guys should get out of a stock, okay, so you guys don't lose any money. So if you're into videos like that, please subscribe to the channel, smack the notification bell when it pops up, and you'll be notified on a couple of more videos. So let's go ahead and we'll get started with the RSI study. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be talking about the RSI index, okay, and how you can use it to your advantage when determining when to buy and when to sell. It's a great tool to be able to use, and you guys should definitely have it in your arsenal of indicators that you want to monitor, okay? So... What is an RSI index? Well, let's go over to Google. And I'm going to search for what does RSI stand for? And I'll just read it for some of those of you that can't see. It's called the Relative Strength Index. Uh, the Relative Strength Index, RSI, developed by J. Wells Wilder, is a momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. The RSI oscillates between 0 and 100. Traditionally, the RSI is considered overbought when above 70 and oversold when below 30. That's the main focus right there, guys. Don't worry about the other stuff. Um, it The 70 and the 30 is when it's overbought or when it's oversold traditionally. And I'm going to explain what that is. You don't have to write it down, but I'm going to explain what you do when you analyze those two numbers when dealing with the stock. So let me shrink it back down to my Thinkorswim platform from TD Ameritrade. I've just got a random stock on the page. Here is my RSI study right here. I'm going to show you guys how you guys can install this right in this section here and what settings to set it at. And then you'll be able to use it when you guys are going on Monday and uh, trying to day trade or maybe you're paper trading. Um, but I'm going to explain what it is. There's two lines in here. This is the 70 line. This is the 30 line, right? Just like on Google. Traditionally, RSI is considered overbought when above 30 and oversold below 30. So what you want to do is as you're moving through the day, as the stock's changing every minute, this line, this gray line is going to continue to move. And what happens is when this area goes above the 70, when it starts to turn red, that is giving you an indication that this stock is probably getting close to getting ready to go down. It doesn't mean that you have to sell right away. You don't have to rush and just think, Jesus, i got to sell this thing. You want to watch it. You want to use other indicators that you guys trust, okay? So I, I've got some other videos on other indicators that you guys can follow. You can look for those, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys other tips and tricks. But on this particular one, the RSI index, when it reaches 70, it means that most likely it's at its height and it's getting ready to go back down. And you'll see here, especially when it turns red, guys, um, you'll see here it dropped back down. Sometimes it'll stay red and it'll continue to go across the page and it'll stay red for longer periods. That's usually when a stock's gapping up. Everyone thinks that, oh my God, this thing, when's this thing gonna stop? It's gotta go down at some point. And then it goes up again. And then everyone's like, oh my God, I should have bought back then. And then it goes up again. And then you're like, oh, there's no way I should buy now because I know as soon as I buy, it's just going to drop and then it goes up again. So that's usually what happens when this red line continues a little bit longer. Okay. Um, on the flip coin, the 30 line is when a stock gets down. Let me kind of scroll across the page here and we'll find one. Once it gets, once this gray line hits this uh, 30 line, sometimes it'll turn light blue. And that's an indicator that it might be a good time to buy. It doesn't mean you should buy. It doesn't mean you have to buy. It means be prepared. You could buy now or you could wait and watch and see if it goes up. If it starts to move up and you're feeling good about it, then you can buy. And then you'll wait for it to get a little bit higher and maybe closer to when it's going to touch its top line. And then you want to be ready to sell. Okay? So 
this is what the RSI does. It tells you when to buy, potentially buy, and then it tells you when to potentially sell. Okay? It's just one of the tools that you guys can use in your arsenal of indicators of studies. So I'm going to share with you how you can add it. What you'll do is you'll go up here to this little uh, uh, beaker, this science beaker here, and here you go right here. It is, you'll search for it over here, you'll search RSI, and then you'll find it. Uh, let me see if I can move this over here. RSI right there, and you click highlight it, and then you'll add selected. And when you add selected, it's going to move over on this side of the page. And then what you can do is you can drag and you can drop it where you want. I usually drag it down to the lower section here. And then over here on the gear icon, I can go in here and I can make any changes that I want. So these are the settings that I use right now. I have a uh, length of 14. I have overbought at 70, oversold at 30. And then you can look at the other ones here. It's, some of these are defaulted. I don't even know if I changed these. I might have just left these to the standard default. But you guys can write these down. And you guys can copy this if you want to help you out. And then what you can do is you can obviously change the colors or the style however you want. And then you click OK to save. And then you click Apply. And it's right here. So I have different studies, different techniques, different different uh, little sections here that I'm testing out constantly, trying to determine what's best for me and what works good for me. But I do use the RSI all the time. Some of these other ones, I have other studies that I'm playing with. Sometimes I use the default study. Sometimes I take that study and I start to chip away at it, break it down, break it in half, only use maybe two lines out of the six lines, and I'm coming up with techniques that seem to be working. So you guys want to make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell because I'm going to be doing videos on that here shortly, and I want you guys to be able to see that and take advantage of that and then use it when you guys are trying on your own but thanks guys for watching and that's how you that's how you use the rsi index so thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video please give the video a thumbs up right now in the center if you found this helpful if it helped you it'll also help me with the google algorithm all right thanks guys for watching take care bye bye